Looks like Franklin's not too excited that Guinevere is behind him. Although, to be fair, it seems that Franklin is never excited about much anything. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays The Sims. The last episode was a bit of a doozy. There was an upset. We brought in Jerry, who has a pissload of money, and uh, he was able to kind of change the snob's life around. And I asked you guys to be the bearers of good news in uh, what happens. You guys are already, I'm sure, getting excited because you can see some stuff going on in the background. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit play, and I am going to let this uh, play out itself and kind of uh, let the, what the, <laughs> where are you going? What, have a, have a drink. Ha, w where? What? Where? What? What? Is, <laughs> um. Um. I'm sorry. I just. I. I'm. I'm really. Con go. Their first thought was not to go into the amazing house I built them, but to go into the pool center. They all went to the pool center. Okay. Um. Anyway, uh, while they're doing that, I was going to uh, give you guys uh, the comments that I used in order to build the amazing house that none of these people want to go look at. Oh my god. They even have their own personal pool. And they're not... Wow. Really? Really? That's... Okay, anyway, um, so first off, I'm going to zoom back over here to the, uh, to the house. They can use this, right? Like, this isn't... <laughs> like, it's, it's not like they can't get into it, correct? Like, if it, I can still set this as the set bed ownership to, to Guinevere, because this is her bed. And if I wanted, I could tell her to come sleep, right? And she would do it. Like, they have access to this stuff. Let me just double check. Climbing up the ladder. And yes, she can. I have no idea why they all decided at once that they were going to go to that other place. That is incredibly confusing. While I'm here, I should probably set bethernership. But um, by doing that, I guess I can show you guys uh, who is... Oh, they're back. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I have no idea why they why they left so suddenly, but uh, you guys pro can probably guess whose little place is what. So, let's read the comments. The biggest comment that influenced the way I built this house was from Bombard. And Bombard said, I feel like a castle-like house would look and work great for the schnobs. There could be four towers or rooms that, would, uh, that they would sleep in, although two people would have to share a room. And that's obviously uh, the, <laughs> the schnobs themselves. Uh, and there would be an empty area in the middle where there's no roof or floor so that Franklin and Jerry can garden in peace. Um, I I took some of your ideas and, and took some liberties with them, and uh, you'll be able to see what I've done exactly as I go through some of these comments. I decided that uh, the middle area would be a pool. Everybody loves pools. And there's sections over here on both sides for Franklin and Jerry to do their own gardening stuff. Um, in, <laughs> uh, someone had, uh, written a comment that said, um, Jerry's place should still be filled with candles, which is how his house burned down last time, and, uh, I thought that was funny because it's like he never learned, so he's got candles not only in the bottom, but in the, in the top floor of his place. Let's continue to read some of these comments so you guys can understand, uh, where I based, uh, some of the stuff off of. Uh, the Mega Mawile says, As a reward for Gregory's high grades in school, Franklin decides to use Jerry's money to buy him a room full of toys, but that didn't make a lot of sense, so Fox and Game said maybe Jerry's the one who gives him the toys instead. So Gregory has got a piss load of toys. They're probably going to be going to sleep soon because it's late, but that's fine. I'll, I'll continue to, to show off the house. Um, Zap Freak says, Since Jerry sees everyone hating each other, he decides to build separate rooms to give everyone a little space. So that's, you know, that's another... There was a lot of people that suggested that, so that's uh, one of the things I went with. Will you not sleep with your husband? Yeah, well, okay. You don't hate him so much. You don't hate him quite that much yet. Um, when it's time for you to sleep, this is your bed, just so you know, because you're a little stupid. Um, so maybe that's something to consider in the future. Uh, 
so the other thing Zap Freak said, um, you know, Tabitha gets a room full of mirrors and lamps, and uh, actually, if you go downstairs, because Tabitha and Franklin are kind of having a little tiff, their marriage is a little bit in shambles, their house is split down the middle. Uh, you can tell that uh, Franklin is on the side with all of the, the plants and things like that. Tabitha has got rubber ducky uh, floor carpeting because she's <laughs> a little insane. She's got a bunch of mirrors on this side. Um, they had to have a bathroom, so I just put it on Tabitha's side. Um, if you want to imagine that Franklin is not using it, then that's fine because he's also the person that tore down the last ones. That's, I mean, that seems like it could be completely canon. Although I'm sure if he has to pee, he probably of his own accord will use the bathroom. Or a bathroom. There's a lot of bathrooms in here. Um, so uh, I, I, I kind of themed Guinevere's uh, based on the fact that she likes to party. Her downstairs uh, place is just for partying. I mean, it's it's got a stereo system. It's got a huge TV. There's a bunch of balloons. At the, the You can change all the lights here. Actually, one of the cool things is that you can actually toggle black lights on for, like, the entire room. And it gets really freaking weird, man. <laughs> it's, it's a little... It's a little odd. Let's, um... Let's turn off the black lights in this room, because it's, it's kind of scary. Um... So, here's another fun one. Tabitha, seeing how she can use him, builds the deepest underground bunker there is to build a shrine to the most expensive mirror. We'll get to that in a second. I'm excited about that one. Uh, make the house a hideous yellow since it's Jerry's uh, since it's Jerry's money, he gets to make it his favorite color. And I did that. If we put all the walls up, uh, you can see that uh, it is a terrible, terrible looking yellow. Also, the windows are based off of the individual person. Jerry wants to be close to nature, even more so than Franklin, so his windows are gigantic and huge, letting in a lot of light. He also doesn't have a separate room for his, uh, for his toilet. <laughs> the carpool for Franklin will come. Really? Let me know how that works out. I'm sure it's gonna, I'm sure that's gonna go great. Um, Gyro Cannon says, uh, as long as poor Gregory gets to cultivate his talents, I'm fine with any home there is. I mean, let's face it, Franklin's going to end up removing walls and showers anyway. Um, I tried to do that. Gregory's got a, uh, he's got this, he's got a, uh, a ton of, um, a ton of stuff to improve his skills, and to be honest, he's probably the most stable person in the household, which is kind of sad. Uh, Slamduck85 says, Tabitha wants a room that is a special chapel for all to worship the lamp. I'm going to show that last, and you should be excited. Uh, Mr. Dalal says, my idea for the house is simple. The house is being built by Jerry, a hippie, so add a lot of psychedelic rugs. I did that in his house, in his particular tower part. And Dalek Destroyer 13 says, as Jerry contemplates staying with the snobs, he decides to recreate the room he shared with Franklin in college. Room had crazy, out of the world psychedelic wallpaper. Um, which is another thing that I did here. So, <laughs> like I said, I took some liberties with stuff. Someone had said that there should be an underground bunker, and another person said there should be a shrine to the lamp. I definitely agreed with both, but, um, oh my god, Gregory is aging. It's it's a miracle. Today he embarks on, why not buy him a birthday cake and throw a party? Yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, behind, behind this thing, there is... <laughs> just this random ladder that goes into the ground. Where does that go? Let us let us discover together. Where's Tabitha? <laughs> Tabitha's still sleeping. She's going to have to wake up in a second. Climb down. Climb down, Tabitha. I want you to be the one to, uh, to show our audience exactly what's down here. So Tabitha's going to climb down. And as we follow her down, <laughs> it is a special chapel to the lamp. And I can't actually make her do anything with the lamp. Now, what's special about this lamp is this is the first lamp. This is the lamp that Tabitha actually looked at and was in awe of in that, uh, in that second episode of The Sims. I was able to add it to the family's inventory and take that exact same lamp. So this is the exact same one. And she is going to be creepy in her own special chapel uh, by her... S I was going to say together, but I guess I could say together because she's insane and talks to herself, so I guess it's alright. Um, other things I did. Obviously, everyone's got their own section of house. They each have two floors. Um, kind of a living area in the bottom, and then their bathroom and uh, uh, bedroom is the, the top floor. Uh, but also, the kitchen is in a central area for everyone, so they can all uh, do all their cooking and stuff here. It's all top-of-the-line stuff. They could afford it. 
they had six hundred and fifty thousand dollars and they only used a hundred and fifty thousand to actually build all this crap so we overshot it with the money you know they have way more money than they'd ever need but right now they are all completely taken care of well, looks like Jerry's woken up and Jerry what is going to be the thing that you do today take a shower that's probably a, a, good, a good a good start a sales just started at Diversadero budget books everything is 35% off for the next one day enjoy the savings and did Franklin ever go to work oh he did that's good and did Gregory go to school he did and he's doing so well, and today he ages up. So uh, we should... Jerry's thinking about Guinevere. <laughs> oh, or he's listening to a compliment. Aw, oh, Guinevere, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> it took her a while to get up here. Um, you're probably wondering why I went with ladders, but it just saved so much space. It actually took up a lot of space to try and put stairs in all of these places. Um... And I, I probably could have redesigned it to have stair stairs in a more central place, but uh also aren't they aren't they both hopeless romantics? There's a few of you that wanted to see a hookup here, and um, I kind of decided that for this particular episode, I wanted to focus on building, uh, and I did. I built this entire thing, and it took a long freaking time. In fact, um, I'm going to make that building video a separate thing. If you want to see uh, the actual building process, I'll put that in the description so you can check that out. Um, so that was most of it, and I kind of want to let The Sims do their own thing for the remainder of this episode, and kind of see what they do. Try not to force too much stuff, and see how they react to all of this new, uh, equipment. Knight's armor never really stops chafing the skin, the unbearable heat doesn't help either, remember? Uh, or it says, really, the entire profession is so miserable that Tabitha isn't sure why she endorses it, virtual or otherwise. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's having a fantasy adventure. In her pajamas. That's fascinating. Uh, that's one of the things I put in the party room. Maybe it's not what I should have put in the party room. Also, I like how there's also like creepy, demonic barnyard animals on the on the TV. That actually makes the most sense for Tabitha. Oh, I thought she was going to do it again. I was like, really? Are you sure? Why don't you turn that on? And why don't you go ahead and uh, change it to... Uh, oh, it's on... I was going to change it to kids, but it is kids. Can you dance to kids' music? Also, I think you were trying to get somewhere, but <laughs> you're upset. There you go. <laughs> you dance to that children's music in your high heels, which I, have I somehow never noticed that you were wearing. Uh, Jerry, what's going on with you? So Jerry uh, is eating a peanut butter and jelly because he doesn't have very high cooking skills. And neither does really anyone else. But everyone is in a really amazing mood because this house is amazing. Like, if we look at their stuff, it's elated for both of them. I mean, their needs are, are, are good. Their, their fun is pretty good. Her fun's sky high. I don't know what she just... Having a blast. I don't know, I don't know she, why she's having a blast. She's, she's having a blast. I didn't really know what to do for him being a hippie. Um, also, there was a few people that pointed out in the ep in uh, last episode that said, you know, Steven, you're supposed to make a hippie, not a hipster. Yeah, I know. Uh, I tried to fix that with the wallpaper and some of the other things I chose for Jerry, but, uh, whoops. I, g I guess I got sidetracked, and he ended up being a, uh, a hipster. I figured a foosball table was appropriate. I guess he can play with himself. Well, you know what I mean. You're still at your paper route. You're stru still at school. We should probably um, get something together for for this for this kid. And we got already got the room set up for it. Let's see. If we go into buy mode, we do sort by function and do kids. No, 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 no. Electronic. No, no, no. Entertainment. Parties. Here we go. Birthday Inferno birthday cake. This is perfect. And we just... <laughs> we have to put it on a table. Christ almighty. Is it so hard to find a table? Surfaces. Alright, here's a table. A single table in the middle of the room. Entertainment. Bam. Alright, go back to live mode. So that's what we're going to do. We are actually going to throw him a party whenever he comes home. Uh, which I'm going to go ahead and jump into triple mode to get him home faster. And I'm going to see... What is what is this, Franklin? Why did the journalist cross the road by Franklin Stobbs? Or for Franklin Stobbs? Your boss thinks it's one of the, of the most important that you read this book. 
Um, okay. Sure. As we zoom out into the sky. Yeah, okay, yeah. I will accept this opportunity. And, uh... I will, I will tell <laughs> Jerry has to pee. I think it's funny that Jerry's the one that wanted to build the bathrooms, and then, you know, he's not even using them. He's like, no, I really have to, <laughs> I really, really want to hold it. Um, I think the opportunity is here, isn't it? Oh, he has it. Christ almighty, never mind, go home, Jesus. It was not immediately clear to me. He's, all he's got to do is go home and read the stupid book. It's in your inventory, just read it. It can't be too hard. You know how to do that, right? You're just going to sit down and read, old man? Seems like a good plan for you. You get started reading that? Great. Now, are you home from school? You are home from school. You have... You're doing your home... My God, he's such a good kid. He's such a good kid. All right. It's uh, 4 o'clock. Tabitha, you're technically the mom. You're very irresponsible and, in general, a terrible person. But it would make sense for you to um, have a birthday party. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw a party... As soon as you get on that phone. And it's going to be a birthday party. And it's going to start at 6 p.m. Dress code's going to be casual. And we want to invite... We want the whole friggin' neighborhood here, don't we? Can we select all, all of them? Can't we just hit all? <laughs> like, can't we just invite everyone we know? Is there a limit to the, the amount of people we can have? I guess we want some kids there. Everyone else is going to be like, you know, <laughs> why are we here? I'm just gonna okay maximum number of guests. Well, oh, but what about Justine? Ke Who are you, Hank? I don't know. I want Justine there, and no one else really matters. That seems good. All right, except the birthday party will start at six. We have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. Who is this? Who are you? How are you? How are you talking about Jerry when you're here? Did you? Did Franklin mother something terrible about Jerry and you overheard it? Like, why? Whatever. Tabitha's party starting soon. A little setup might be in order. Wait, Tabitha's party. Oh, I never really... <laughs> I don't think I ever had a, a, a place to talk about it. Whatever. I'm sure they know that it's for him. Because he's the one aging up. Everyone will be excited for him. P probably. Tabitha, you should probably make some food. Do you know how to make food, honey? Because I, I, I kind of doubt that you do, but, you know. Oh, you could grill. You could serve lunch. Um, Hot, hot, wait. When's, when's dinner start? There we go. 5 p.m. That's what I thought. So you could get some hot dogs ready. Seems good. And uh, while you're doing that, uh, Jerry, if you could help too. I know you're kind of a slob, but if you could, uh, if you could serve some, maybe, maybe up, serve up, serve up some, some salads. Because the guests are going to be getting here soon, man. And we, we want to make sure Gregory has a great party. All right, here we go. So, um, Guinevere, you are in charge of the party stuff, and uh, you're playing that kid's music. We, w you want to go in here and dance. You want kicking d what? Because you're a party animal. She's gonna have a lot of fun. Okay, we we want some more people to get here. What the crap is? Oh yeah, we. Sorry about that. We still have your dad's tombstone around here. No, actually, no, we don't. I cleared the lot. Sorry. She was apparently instantly reminded. She's like, this is where Dad died in the fire. But I'm really excited for this party. All right, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to do here. We have a really fun house, everyone. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now, Gregory, where are you? It's getting late. <laughs> also, we should have these lights on. Can we turn on the lights? Also, I don't think the kids can turn on the lights, period. Turn on black lights. Toggle black light off. Uh, this room, because I don't want black lights. I want to just turn on this room with regular lights. There we go. Gregory, blow out the candles. What do you mean, blow out the candles? I, I want Gregory, because he's, he's aging up. Gregory Snobs is having a birthday party. Come one and all. That's, that's the idea. Yes. Where is everybody? I, like, so... <laughs> There's a few people upstairs. Oh, they're all trying to get down the ladder. Oh, this is fascinating. They're like, how do we do this? Oh my god, it's happening. Gregory, your life has been a living hell. You have lived with some terrible individuals. But it looked like things are, are finally turning out okay for you, buddy. Your deadbeat father is nowhere around because he hates children. Is he coming? 
No, he was not here for the moment. Gregory has reached his teen years. Angst and raging hormones can make this a difficult period for any sim. Gregory can now join the workforce by taking a part-time job, although his grades are still a big factor in his future success. Because of his success in school, you may choose a trait for Gregory. So we actually get to choose. I think it would make sense that uh, he's ambitious. To be honest, right off the bat, I see that, and I'm like, man, I think he should go for that. Because he's... I can't believe how... how great he is. Uh, he turned out so, you know, so normal. I, I think I'm going to make him ambitious. Good job, buddy. You did it! What the... Wow, Blair. That was mean. Holy crap. That was really... <laughs> that was really rude. Also, are, are you going to, like... I was going to say, are you actually going to eat the cake, or... And they're still playing the weird children's music, even though he's now a teenager. That's kind of weird, Guinevere. Why don't you um, <laughs> why don't you change uh, the music to something? Rock out to uh, why, why don't you rock out to to electronica, which coincidentally is Jerry's favorite music. Even though someone pointed out it's ironic that <laughs> he's a technophobe. He's a technophobe but loves electronica. So it looks like things are okay. Things have turned out well. You guys did a fantastic job giving me suggestions for the house. Uh, hopefully uh, the house has met your expectations. It's uh, a very interesting design, but I think it's a cool idea. Um, we've got a lot of people over here, a lot of people having a good time, except for Blair, who did not want to be here. I'm assuming that maybe she had uh, a bad experience with, uh, <laughs> with Franklin or something. I have no idea. Oh, look, someone is... Oh, Justine is... Apparently going to steal the guitar. Don't let me find out that you stole that. I don't want to have to buy a new one. You're a terrible person. We got some nice places to sit out here. Franklin. We, they prepared salad. Someone brought peanut butter and jelly. There's salad in here. There's some, some hot dogs. They're of nice quality. I'm just... I'm happy. Look at this. Everything was going straight to hell. And now looks pretty normal, except for the fact that there's an underground dwelling devoted to worshipping the lamp. All hail the mighty lamp. Pretty good. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now that we have this new home established and people are actually liking the parties, uh, for one, let me know what you think, but also, as always, you dictate the future. What happens next? Um, I do want to throw out the reminder that we are going to be trying to uh, finishing it soon. A local athletic recruiter caught a glimpse of you working out. Get a job in the professional sports career. Uh, sure. <laughs> he could do that. Uh, you guys dictate what happens next. Be sure to let me know what you want to see ha uh, happen next. Keep in mind that we're trying to wrap everything up within the Schnobs family. So, uh, whatever you want to see happen before the series goes on hiatus... Let me know. I've already got a few interesting ideas. We're going to see what happens next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Plays The Sims.